Uh, accessories is always a lot of fun to knit. They're quicker than a sweater. Today we're doing a not so easy accessory, but it's still knitted in one color at a time and we're using two colors. Yes. So uh, here we go. So we're doing, a, we're doing a fun cowl project today. Uh, Arne has already started casting on. Uh, the start of the cowl is you use a circular needle, four and a half millimeters. For the? For the rib. For the rib. And you start uh, by casting on 108 stitches, and then you do a rib for six rounds so that you get a nice little edge on the cowl. And that's also the finishing of the yeah. project. Two yeah. knit, two pearl. So two knit, Two pearls, so a two by two rib to start with. Yeah. And then I think we should come back when I finished a little bit of the knitting. Okay. This takes time. This will take some time, yeah. <laughs> so we are getting closer to the end of the project now. Actually, no, we're halfway through, more or less. More than half. More than halfway through. And it's looking fabulous, Arne. I know. It looks really good. So uh, what we're doing now is we're knitting the pattern, knitting and purling uh, as we go. And then it looks like this. What, the waffle? The waffle Waff pattern, yeah. The waffle pattern, maybe? So uh, we'll show you a little bit about how, how to get the waffle pattern. Yeah. And as usual, you will be able to get the whole thing. Uh, online on our on our website so you can download the pattern there as well but all you need to know when you do this is how to knit knit and purl yeah and you have to move some stitches around to get this pattern and on every second round you have to make one round with just knit and then on the other second a purling, rounds a purling round. you purl and knit yes. and move stitches yeah. around. Now so I that in the end you get that diagonal line that shows from the beginning to the end where you've moved. Because when you, st when you start the round with the, with the moving of the stitches you also move this red yarn. So the starting point is, is moving. Yeah, so the red yarn is showing you where you've started your Project. Or a stitch marker, yeah. whatever you use. Now I do, I'm making the round with knit, just a few more stitches, and then I can show you how to pearl, pearl and move the marker. No, the stitches. Oh, the stitches, yeah. Sorry. But now I finished one round with knit, mm -hmm. and now I'm doing the pearl and the knit, and also the moving of the stitches because okay. the stitches are changing place so now these these two stitches they are going towards the right the right and that <laughs> so so then i have the two knitted and then in front of the two knit i have a pearl or it's going to be a pearl. So I take the first one on the extra needle and keep it there while I do the two stitches in knit. Then I put the one I took off back on the needle and then I purl all the way over to the other side. And I stop when I reach the two knitted from this, what do you call that? Braid or bubble? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And now this is going to the left and it's going over kind of. So I take this on the extra needle. And I purl one and put them back on the needle. And I 
knit those two. And then there is one pearl. And then I have these two, which is going to be in front. And I pearl one. Put these back. And I knit these two. Mm. So this way you see you get a space, the space in between the, the waffles are a pearl and a knit every second time. Mm. And then on the, these lines that goes towards left and right, they are always knitted, mm. but they are moving around. Awesome. Yeah. Now it's, now it's knitted finished and then you can see since we since we are knitting this pattern on a round on the circular the starting point moves from the beginning to so the, the yeah so this is this is where we started and we've been going and it's going like this this wouldn't happen won't happen if you make a sweater and you knit back and forth because then it stays the starting point stays always like on the straight line, but now it's moving around. Mm. It's good to know. So when you follow the pattern and it happens by itself. Great to know. Okay, mm. now it's just, you have to sew the loose ends. And it's ready. And it's ready. So the cowl is finally ready and it's uh, ready to wear now. Yeah. And you do the modeling. Oh, I do the modeling. You oh. do the modeling. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Looks good. Mm. It's nice and warm. Yeah. And if you want to have the black next to your face, you just turn it upside down. So you have two in one. Wow, that's really great. It's great.